All right, we're here testing this uh, plant net app. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, not that I know every plant in the woods, but I know a few. So if it makes a mistake on some of these, I'll know it. I see that. That's golden seal, yellow root. No question about it. So. Get back to the thing. Okay. I'm getting chewed up here. Okay. See what it tells me it is. Yep. Golden seal. I don't know if probably doesn't show up this isn't the best camera but it got it, it says golden seal right there okay let's try another one let's see. all right you two hooligans don't make too much noise right at this moment okay all right but don't just don't fuss all right let's try this I don't know what this is a little sapling or bush Once again, this is, uh, hmm. well, I don't know what it is, but it is not Eastern Poison Ivy, which is what that says. I don't know if you can see that, but not even close. So, <clears throat> on that one. Alright, here comes another one. Look at that one. Once again, this is, I'm sure I know what this is, a plant net. Take a picture here. Okay, Eastern Poison Ivy. It got that one right. Of course, it just called some kind of random plant Eastern Poison Ivy, too. So, alright, here we are. It should get this one, because if I'm guessing that it judges by shapes and comparing images, this is Black Cohosh, and I know what this is. So, let's see find our app here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like such a wuss out here with my app but this is wonderful when it works I'm just worried that people might just take it as gospel all the time that is a mistake okay What? No data available. Maybe I did it wrong. Let's try it again. Oh, here it is. Tasmanian blue gum. Well, folks, you know, this is very interesting, and it has identified some flowers around the house and stuff, but. I don't know about this. Blue Tasmanian blue gum, what the Let's see. I mean just like anything else, I think it's a tool and can get you in the right direction. Try a different leaf. But uh just a tool. Just like one person's memory can't be trusted now. Black baneberry. That looks close. I 
I'll have to get back with you on that one. I don't think that's another name for cohosh, but I'll put it in the uh, the text on the video. Okay, hi Creed. Hi. Creed's gonna help me. We got another plant that should be a pretty good candidate, easy candidate for this thing. This plant ID. This is May apple. I don't know if you have these. Well, if you're in the Midwest woods, you do. But uh, these are edible leaves. When they're yellow or mostly yellow, that one's a tinge green. Let me back up so you can see the whole plant. See that? That is edible. And this plant is not a mandrake. If you've heard that before, that's a colloquial name. That's not the proper name. Mandrake is poisonous. This is not. Okay, that's enough preaching. Let me... Let me check this plant app. Okay, Creed. Mm -hmm. Now, what is this plant here? May apple. May apple? Okay, very good. This plant could fool it. I have seen may apples with aberrant leaves that don't look anything like this. That one there, in fact, is a little screwed up. But, uh, take a picture. I don't want bad camera work. Okay. So when they get yellow? When they get yellow, you can eat them, that's right. Okay, we're checking this plant thing out right now. Okay, got that one. Oh, this lighting. Anyway, it did get it. First try. Let's see what else. Yeah, it gets dumber as you go down the list to a poplar. But anyway, that was kind of a softball pitch, but it did get that one. Okay. Here I'm just mucking about in the yard. This is a hosta. I'm not sure what kind, but if it says hosta, I'm going to give it the wind. Let's African lily. Well, I don't know about that one. I'm pretty sure that's a hosta of some kind. Let's try the leaf. Hmm. Came up with a lily again. There we go. Okay, here's one I know. Twin leaf. Pretty distinctive leaf there, so. Leaf. Bloodroot. Now I can see where it got that because bloodroot is a twin lobed kind of leaf, but it's not split all the way like that. That's twin leaf. Let's see, it gives you other options. There it is. It got it, but it's option number two. So I guess you would call that a pass. Okay, we got another plant here. This it is. Okay, thank you. We've got another plant here. This is American Columbo. I guess this must bloom every other year because last year these had the shoots that go way up. But anyway, it's kind of limp, so this might not be a fair test. But I'm. this is the thing I wonder with this app is that there's a lot of leaves that are just like straight broad leaves. There's a lot of leaves that are blades, like lilies. How does it tell those apart? So, let's try it on this stuff. Well, 
and I some of you might say well that's not the best camera that's a fifty dollar phone well that's true but this thing ought to be able to work around that not everybody's carrying the thousand dollar impress your relatives iPhone 10 or whatever so let's see what this says plant not found in this referential please switch to Western Europe I don't know if you can see that I'm getting the shade here well sorry about that but that's what it say says it don't know it don't know what that is okay this one should be pretty easy this is obviously a sycamore you can see that beautiful bark it makes those stand out so much let's see camera <laughs> American sycamore. We kind of figured that would happen. I wonder if it, it's got a listing for stems, but I wonder if it includes bark. Now, bark doesn't get much more distinctive than this. Let's try that. But I don't know if it's supposed to recognize tree bark, so. Let's see. Okay. Stem, that would have to be a stem. Plant not found, so. No, wait a minute. That's it. American sycamore. That is kind of exciting because identifying trees by bark is a little different, so I think that's kind of cool. So, got a pass on that one.